morning. I'm Dr. Erwin Janino Ibanez. I'm an adult cardiologist specializing in interventional cardiology and uh, vascular medicine. Uh, today, I will discuss about what are chronic venous insufficiency and venous ulcers. Living with venous insufficiency and leg ulcers affects the quality of life of our patients because due to pain and immobility, this would lead to decrease, substantial decrease in the quality of life of our patient. Healthy leg veins have, uh, have valves that keeps the blood flowing to the heart. So the venous reflux develops when the valve stop working uh, properly and allow blood flow uh, backward. And eventually, this will lead to pooling of blood into the lower legs. So, paano po bang nangyayari ang chronic venous insufficiency? O ano ba ang sakit ng chronic venous insufficiency? Maaari ito ay dahilan sa blood clots o pamumuo ng dugo, uh, varicose veins, obesity, uh, pregnancy, smoking, cancer, or muscle weakness, uh, pagkakaroon ng leg injury or trauma. Maaari din dahil sa superficial pulvitis or infection sa paa, or pagkakaroon ng family history ng venous insufficiency. Uh, kadalasan, nangyayari din ang venous insufficiency dahil sa mga taong hindi masyadong gumagalaw or dahil sa matagal na pag, uh, pag-upo or, or di kaya uh, matagal na pagtayo tulad ng mga nagtatrabaho laging nakatayo. Ano ba ang mga simptomas ng chronic venous insufficiency? Maaring magkakaroon ka ng pamamaga ng paa or sa legs mo or sa ankles or pagkakaroon na sa pananakit ng paa mo pag tumatayo ka and pag mas na nagiging uh, nawawala yung pananakit ng paa mo pag inaangat mo yung, uh, yung paa mo. So, ang kadalasang sintomas ng chronic venous insufficiency or ang pagkakaroon ng head cramps, aching, throbbing, or feeling of heaviness sa paa. Minsan, may mga pasyente ang nagreklamo kung yari sa pangangati ng paa nila or pananamlay ng paa uh, kadalasan din is nagkakaroon sila ng thickening ng kanilang skin or nagkakaroon ng discoloration sa paa nila. Kadalasan, ang uh, sinasabi ng mga tao is meron ba silang diabetes. Uh, during sa kanilang eksaminasyon, wala naman silang diabetes. At ang pinaka uh, symptoms na ibang venous ulcers is ang pagkakaroon ng leg ulcers, varicose veins, and kadalasan nagkakaroon sila ng uh, feeling nila na mabigat or, or maskip yung kanilang paa. Paano ba dinadiagnose ang isang venous insufficiency? Kinakailangan ng magandang history and physical examination ng doktor ninyo. Uh, ito ay ginagawa upang malaman kung ano ang totoong sakit ng venous insufficiency or ng venous ulcer. Ang ibang eksaminasyon na ginagawa dito sa mga pasyente is isang eksaminasyon na tinatawag ng venous duplex scan. Sa venous duplex scan, ginagawa kung saan malalaman ang uh, pagkakaroon ng isang reflux ng dugo or ang backflow ng dugo sa paa kung isang, isang dahilan or isang hit na pagkakaroon ng venous insufficiency. So, what are the treatment options? Number one is by improving the blood flow. So, how do we improve the blood flow of our patients? Number one is by keeping the legs elevated whenever possible. Number two, by wearing compression stockings. Number three, keeping your legs uncrossed when seated. And number four, by exercising regularly. So, what about other treatment strategies such as medications? There are certain medications that we can give to our patient. We can give diuretics, anticoagulants, and vitonic drugs. Uh, anticoagulants can be given for those patients with blood clots of their legs. There are several treatment strategies for chronic venous insufficiencies and venous ulcers. Number one, by doing a surgical repair of veins and valves. So, in-operahan yung pasyente para ayusin yung vein mismo. Number two, is by doing ambulatory microplebectomy. Ginagawa ito pag uh, hinihiwa ng konti yung yung paa, konting-konting incision para tanggalin yung mga veins. Number three is by doing sclerotherapy. Ang sclerotherapy is kung saan nag inject ng medication para i-close yung vein. 
Okay. Number four is catheter procedures. Ito yung pinakamabagong procedure na hindi kinakailangan na mga gamot uh, para isara yung mga vein. Uh, example nito is yung radiofrequency ablation. Ang radiofrequency ablation is yung pagkakaroon ng ultrasonic waves or sound waves na para i-close yung ugat ng, uh, ng vein. Pangalawa is yung pinakabago is yung vein sealing. Ang vein sealing naman is yung medical adhesive na non-thermal devices na i-close yung vein. Ito yung mga bagong ano, teknolohiya ngayon uh, na nagagawa lang kahit na outpatient lang. Ito, pag ginagawa itong vein sealing, mas mabilis dahil outpatient lang siyang ginagawa. Walang tomicent anesthesia nilalagay. konti lang yung uh, pagkakaroon ng bruising or as a, sa resulta dahil yung thermal ablation, iba procedure. Ang compression stockings is maaari na hindi suotin after the procedure. So don't wait to find other treatment options for your venous insufficiency and leg ulcer. Consult your vascular medicine specialist now for adequate treatment and diagnosis. Thank you.